Sera. Welcome to another episode of Regional Italian Cuisine. On tonight's program, we are going to that mysterious island of Sardinia. Uh, Sardinia, 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 Sardinia. And I would like to welcome, of course, our special guest tonight, um, the wonderful Gigi. Thank you for coming back to our show. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, to uh, showcase some of your wonderful recipes, of course, because uh, some of these recipes are things that you've actually got to see them done with your hands rather than reading them straight out of the books. <laughs> But just to tell our viewers exactly where Sardinia is, now um, it's one of actually the two, two of the Italian islands, uh, islands uh, in the Mediterranean. Sicily, of course, being further to the south, but Sardinia is about 200 kilometres from Lazio. Mm -hmm. Lazio, of course, being um, uh, the province of Rome. And if you're on the island, or you sit, if you're on the top of the island, you know, a few uh, kilometres uh, away, you can actually see the borders of the French island of Corsica. Corsica. And basically, uh, it's an island that's marooned basically between Italy and North Africa. Mm -hmm. And then consequently, you get lots of influences from all this region in the food. Um, now, look, I guess uh, it's important to tell our viewers at home that it is one of those islands that's been invaded uh, so many times over and consequently we have influences of the Austrians, yep. the French, yep. um, the Greeks, mm -hmm. um, there were the Phoenicians, the Catalans. Um, so all mm -hmm. these varying invaders have left uh, something there in the culture yeah, and in, yeah. in the food. Now, it is the land of sea meets the mountains, is that correct? That's right, now, yeah. Gigi, you yourself come from a coastal town. Yep. Called yeah. Alguero. Called Alguero. Yeah. Yeah. And Alguero, for our viewers at home, is kind of, well, it's sort of northwestern corner. Northwest, yeah. And uh, having done my research, I do know it is uh, uh, the land where uh, Garibaldi sort of um, left his, uh, started his journey on the unification of Italy, they say. Um, to the south of the island, we have the famous Cagliari, which is actually the regional capital yep. of Sardinia. And then, of course, to the northeast, we have the famous Costa Smeralda. And uh, on tonight's show, what is the first recipe we're going to do? On the first um, um, recipe, um, I'll be cooking um, a baby octopus. Polpi. Is it polpi that you say? Polpettini. Yeah, yeah polpettini in umido, mm. um, served on, uh, on uh, bruschetta. Mm -hmm. um, so fantastic as an antipasto? Uh, fantastic as an antipasto. Yes. Um, you can even have it as a, as a main meal if you like. Yes, yes. Um, and use it as a sauce, you mean with pasta? You can even use it as a sauce. You mm -hmm. can make too much of it. Yes. Um, just put it in the fridge and yeah. just cook up some spaghetti and toss and it together and there you go. Well, I think yeah. it would be an opportune time to go into the kitchen and let's just see how Gigi prepares this wonderful polpi. Thank you. Okay. In English, it means um, baby octopus in like wet, like a stew. First ingredient for this recipe, we use olive oil. We do everything cold. We grab probably about for each kilo of um, baby octopus, we probably grab two cloves of garlic. Give it a bit of a squash, give it a quick chop. Everything goes raw. Some parsley, fresh parsley. Some chilli. Not too much. Probably one will do. Okay, once we've got all the, um, the, the basic ingredients, we, put, we will clean the baby octopus. Uh, it can be even the frozen one. We start cleaning with the head, then the eyes, and then in the centre you'll find the mouth of the octopus. We cut the head, then we cut the little section the eyes, just up slightly above the, the legs, the tentacles, and we remove the mouth, okay, and what we'll be doing next, we'll be opening up the head or the sack, or the inside, as you can see, there's the ink. You don't want to use that because it'll make the dish very dark. Then we grab the scissors. We split that in half, and just we put them in the in the pot. Make sure you spread them out. 
I use about a kilo for probably about four people. We're using Katarina's white wine, beautiful wine. And we just, just not too much, just a little bit. We just put it on the fire. Just give it a bit of a stir. Okay, and just lower the flame a bit. Cover it. Usually it'll take about three quarters of an hour to an hour. Piece of garlic, very simple. Grab the bread, taste the bread, just rub it. You just want the flavour. There we go. Put the baby octopus on top of the toast. the seafood, everything combined together. Polpettini, I forgot. Um, I'll show you another dish, um, another entree. It's um, a baby octopus pasta sauce. The main ingredients for this dish would be chopped garlic with parsley. Then we put uh, chopped tomatoes, which are taken out of the seeds. Grab the baby octopus. Chop small pieces. Okay, you can um, use any type of pasta, like spaghetti. In Italy, what they do is, like for instance, if they go fishing and they catch a nice octopus, what they do is they use the extraction of the ink, and they they make a risotto, or they can make a fettuccine, or Tagliolini, like we've got here. Okay, what we do is we start off with the olive oil. Put a bit of the garlic, the chopped garlic. You have to be a bit quick. The baby octopus. A little bit of salt. Not too much because because we're on, on the outer side of the baby octopus, the skin tends to be a bit salty once when it's cooked. Bit of um, cracked pepper. As you can see, a bit of colour is coming up. We add a bit of white wine. We let that evaporate. In the meantime, you'll have a pot of boiling water. Once when I reach that boiling point, throw in your tagliolini. Make sure the water is always salty. Tagliolini don't take a long time to cook. Probably about three three minutes, just till al dente. When it reaches this point, throw in the fresh tomatoes. Basically let the tomato warm up, not, too, not overly cooked. Once when the pasta is cooked, strain, put it in, in the sauce, put it on the, on the plate. And here we have it, um, a five minute seafood pasta dish with uh, fresh tomatoes, baby octopus, garlic, parsley, and a bit of vino bianco. Mm -hmm.